Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. PC23 here. I'm going to do an unboxing and overview of the Vision Tech 650 watt power supply that I picked up at a local computer store because I like to support small business and I don't like waiting for shipping. So I paid an absurd amount. So let's get my oh so evil cutting tool. Dum dum dum. And kind of drag that across there. And just pull the film off. I am filming without a tripod because I'm using my phone because it is better quality. I'll use my face for that one. Okay, so um, I don't really care about the box, neither should you. Doing this with one hand. So I'm cool. There we go. So it's just a black case. Uh, by the way, this is for my Beta Evil build. Um, since I upgraded to that, that's my new PC. Um, this is just old miscellaneous parts, I guess. It has 4 gigs of DDO3, 1600, 16, excuse me, 1.6 GHz RAM, um, Corsair H50 water cooler. I don't have a CPU yet. And it's my power supply. I need a hard drive. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's take a look at this. Manual. Shouldn't need a manual for power supply. Oh, it says open. I didn't know that's what you're supposed to do when you have packaged material. Cool, so... Oh, excuse me. So I think that's about it in the box. So you have a power cord, which is unnecessarily packaged. Or not packaged, sorry, but covered. Alright, let's open this up. It is not modular, but it is uh, sleeved. So in here we have, looks like two zip ties and the uh, five mounting screws that you need. Let's take this out of the packaging. See if I can do this. Yes, I'm going to win. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Um, I'll come back when that's unpackaged. Alright, so after undoing a zip tie and pulling off an elastic band, we are left with this. Bunch of cables. There are um, six SATA connectors. One PCIe 6-pin, one PCIe 6-pin plus two, uh, and it says six peripheral, which I'm assuming are Molex. Uh, one 20 plus four connector, uh, one 12 volt, four plus four, and a FDD drive disc uh, connector, which I really hope you never have to use. So you have a nice, you know, this really isn't even worth like going over. It's just cables. So I'm gonna put it in my sheet machine and show you what it looks like. Alright, that's a quick overview. It's pretty. So I'm done installing it now. I ran all the cables that I need. So I'm left with this little bit of pile of cables down here, which isn't too bad. That's easily managed with a couple uh, couple zip ties or whatever you prefer to use. Um, I haven't really done much with it. I've just kind of shoved it in there for now because I don't know what I'm going to do with this PC. I might add on to it. Um, as you can see, this is with everything run. I don't have a hard drive in there, but that really doesn't add to any cable mess in here. Because I, I put the cable that I need for this. I already brought it out back. So, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but I would not advise it for a case with a window. Or unless the window stops here. Um, good for a budget build, sort of like in a Beta Evo case or something like that. And as long as you're, you really don't care too much about cable management, because it's non-modular, so sort of, what do you expect? I mean, it's as good as you can get with non-modular. Um, yeah. So it, it looks decent. And the one thing that I really do like about this power supply, even though I haven't turned it on to test it yet, is this sort of, not even really mesh, but just the design on the back, it kind of complements this as opposed to the typical honeycomb that we have on there. I really like this, though it does feel a little bit flimsy. There's some flex to it. So if you hit it with something on accident, it, it's going to break. But you can see like directly into the power supply. Um, so yeah, it, it looks pretty good, and I haven't had time to test it yet to see if it's DOA, but um, let's hope it's not. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions on this power supply, please feel free to ask.